and we're about to get down with some oxtail. Well, I was invited to check out R&B Kitchen. I've never heard of these guys before. They are located in Dartmouth. They claim they're the number one spot in all of Nova Scotia for traditional soul food. I've never had this kind of food before, so I got a couple great looking soul food dishes here in front of me. Let's take a look. Dish number one is the Friday special, which is chicken and waffles. We got mac and cheese. We got slaw, the syrup, and I believe this would be a honey drizzle. Let's dive in. So chicken and waffles. I've never had chicken and waffle before, but it looks nice and crispy. It smells great. Love waffles. Love syrup. Love mac and cheese. Let's give it a go. Let's give the chicken a try. The chicken is cooked well. Nice and tender. It's very good. I'm assuming this is a honey drizzle. Let's get a little bit of a tang. Mmm, that's really good. So before I add the syrup, I'm gonna try the waffle. The little sponge to it. Oh yeah. We might as well use the whole container. Why the hell not? So we enter the combination. How are we gonna do this? Let's do this in a messy way. Why the hell not? I'm just gonna use my fingers because the fork is not gonna do it. Okay. Do it. Chicken and waffle. Oh yeah, it works. Why I haven't tried this before, I have no idea. The mac and cheese. Very cheesy. Let's try the slaw. Who's wearing the coleslaw? The coleslaw. Everything is homemade. These guys have been in business for around three years now. They do cater. The girls in there were awesome. They were so nice. So Mondays, there's a certain, I think Mondays, and I'm going to get this wrong. Mondays and Wednesdays, I think, are certain dishes. Tuesdays and Thursdays and Fridays. Anyway. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Each day of the week has a different menu, and they have weekly specials. I'm a sweaty mess. Big pieces of chicken. There's a big bite. Wow, I'm just getting lost in this food. I gotta pace myself. I still got another dish to go. I'm about to bust. <laughs> it's so good, I can't stop eating it. So being my first time having uh, chicken and waffles, don't really have a lot to compare to, but we're off to a great start. So the next stop definitely qualifies as a traditional soul food. It is the oxtail. Yeah, so we got a side order of mac and cheese. We got some cornbread or some rice under there. I've never had oxtail before, so this should be interesting. Anyway, let's dive in. So I did a review quite some time ago on Brada Jamaican Jerk Chicken, and they had highly recommended that I try the oxtail. I didn't do it, and to be quite honest, the reason why was just because oxtail. It doesn't sound overly appealing to me, but they recommended it here, saying it's definitely traditional soul food, and I can check it off the list of things I haven't tried before. So right away, it is super tender, as you can see. Just falls off the bone. Definitely got a unique smell to it. Not bad, not bad at all. Definitely a unique taste to it as well. Got kidney beans in the rice. The rice is really good. Yeah, it's not bad. Super tender. I'm eating oxtail. It's not a strong or overpowering taste. I'm trying to think of something that I could compare it to. If you can get around the fact that you're eating an oxtail, this is good. I got sticky syrup everywhere. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. So now I can say that I've had oxtail. I've had cornbread before. Love cornbread. Nice and moist. Sweet. Very good. She said I definitely had to try one of the beef patties. Looks great. I've had these before and these are really, really good. Mm. Nice and flaky. So I wish I had some sauce. I'm definitely a sauce guy. I dip shit in everything. Kind of like the king of the dipshits. So if you've got a hanker for some traditional soul food, R&B Kitchen is definitely a place you need to put on your list. A big thank you to them for inviting me out. I really enjoyed this, and I most certainly will be back. A little disappointed I wasn't here last week. I guess the burger they had for Burger Week was off the charts. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, and as always, get out and support our local businesses. Cheers.